Numerical Computation, Chapter 9, Video 11. So in this video, we will look at um, a modification to the Adam Bashford method, the explicit one we talked about last time. And uh, the main idea here is to um, avoid using extrapolation so that the interpolation error will be smaller. So this eventually leads to some implicit methods. So since we're going to approximate f with p at tm plus 1, we're going to include that point in our interpolation. So fix a k, and now we will have um, k plus 2 data points starting from fn minus k going all the way to fn and including the extra point f at n plus 1, t at n plus 1. So k plus 2 points, which needs a polynomial degree k plus 1. And the idea was still the same, that is, um, we would use this p to approximate f, and you can integrate this polynomial here, and then you have a, an iteration step for your ODE. So we can follow the previous discussion and still using the Lagrange form for the um, polynomial pk plus 1 and, and going through a similar um, computation, we will end up with uh, a time iteration as follows, where these are all different f values at step n plus 1 n all the way down to n minus k, and each of them is multiplied by some weights, b negative 1, b0, b1, all the way to bk. And these constants are just the um, integral of the cardinal functions over a time step and divided by h, as before. So one important observation here would be that the final um, scheme now becomes implicit in the sense that if you pay attention the the term here f at m plus 1 actually is also unknown because it depends on tn and xn plus 1 which is the value you're supposed to compute therefore this equation actually is actually a non-linear equation for the unknown xn plus 1 and that's what makes this um, method implicit. So in order to solve it, you have to adapt some nonlinear solver, such like Newton iteration or secant method. Okay. So a um, remember the Newton's method and secant's method, you need to find some good initial guesses. So um, since this is an iteration, so you actually have a pretty good idea of uh, what the solution might be. If h is not too big, then um, you could uh, either use xn if you're really lazy, or you could use a Euler step. Uh, the best way maybe you could use the explicit Adam Bash for second order method, which matches the order of this method, because that one is explicit, and take that answer to be the initial value for the Newton iteration here. Then it's really close and possibly one iteration is enough. Okay, so um, in the end, this shall be pretty efficient still. Now let's take a look at a couple of examples of these adam bashful motor method um, for the lowest orders for smaller values of k. The simplest case is actually when k equals to negative one that means um, we would only use the value um, f at n plus 1, and uh, the polynomial will be a constant. This polynomial degree is 0. So we end up with this uh, numerical scheme. And this is a first-order scheme, and this is, we recognize it, it's the um, implicit backward Euler's method. And if at k equals to 1, you're fitting in a linear um polynomial to approximate f and after computation and this is what you would get and this is like using the a numerical integration rule 
to approximate the integral, and we see that this is just the trapezoid rule. Okay, so if k equals to 1, you actually use the quadratic polynomial to approximate f, and working out some details, and these will be the numbers you would have. And let's take another one, when k equals to 2, then you would involve four different f values combined in this way with these numbers. And these, again, are the integrals of the cardinal function divided by the time step length. Okay, one last example, when uh, k equals to 3, actually that will be a fifth order method. Okay, and then you use five different f values and then you will get these pretty kind of a big number, but if you have the method written, then all it takes is to type them in and code it. Okay, so um, remark again, all these methods are implicit, meaning um, in fm plus 1, fm plus 1 appears in on the right-hand side. There it contains the unknown xm plus 1, so you will have to combine this with some um, Newton iteration or secant method, okay. which could take some time. Okay. So um, next time we'll take a look at an, a smart way of combining these um, explicit method and implicit method and make a multi-step method. Okay, so stay tuned and see you next time.